That's how it's done. Go for Paul. I need your help again. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. All right, Paul, I'm so glad you're here. I need your help. I got a few bikes outside that are ready, but they all need stage one juggernaut tuner kits. Can you help me out? I can help you out. Hold this for me, though. Hey guys, it's Paul here at Go Power Sports. Today I'm going to show you how to install our new Juggernaut Stage 1 Tuner Kit. Alright guys, in the kit you're going to get a little bag like this. It's going to have the three bolts, the three nuts, and the three bushings. The tools you're going to need, um, it makes it easier if you have an impact, but you can do it with hand tools. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket or a wrench. You'll need a 10 millimeter Allen on the impact to take off the main nut. This one's pretty tough, so you're probably gonna need at least a 3 8 impact to take this off. Five millimeter Allen socket for your uh, impact or the hand tool. So if your guys are using the Juggernaut and you're running methanol or you're running the Makuni or really anything over maybe just a basic stage two, this is gonna be the kit you're gonna to have to have. It's going to pretty much wake the juggernaut up. We've been testing this now for a couple of months on everything from drag racing to circle track to just cruising around. And we'll probably use this on every bike from now on. This kit here is going to raise the stall up from its stock 2,500 to approximately 3,000. It's going to put you up closer to where the engine's gonna make its peak torque and you're not having to struggle to get there. All right guys, to do this, it's easier if you can get some kind of workstation going, just because it's easier with the tools, but you can still do this on the engine. All you do is just take the bolt out, you know, you'll take all this apart, and put it back on the crankshaft, but it's much easier if you can do some sort of setup like this. You're gonna slide it over, bust the nut off, and take the drum off. You're not gonna need this for now. So this is what the inside of the juggernaut looks like. The spider, you got the springs, the arm, the weight assemblies, which we're gonna replace, and then the roller. So what I like to do is I like to take all the nuts off. Put your Allen wrench on the one end, take your impact, and then just take all the nuts off. And don't worry, nothing's gonna pop off, nothing's gonna shoot off crazy. <clears throat> All right, take your guys something like a little string, or I'm using this packing ribbon. Something to go behind the roller inside this arm like this. And all this is doing is so you can pull on it and relieve a little bit of pressure off this wheel so it'll all come, up, come apart. And it doesn't take much, it's just a little bit. Just a little bit of tension. So this is the nut we took off earlier. This is the bolt that holds everything together. Here's the roller. And then the bushing is inside. It just is pushed in there. And these aren't threaded guys, but I have found if you use the impact to try to spin it out, it just comes out a little bit easier than trying to wiggle it and force it out. These are pretty loose, so it's gonna come out pretty easy. They're all a little different, depending on how hard you've ridden. So now you're taking the... Now we gotta take the bushings out of the rollers. Some are easier than others. If your bushing's stuck in there, just get you a little something that your bushing can fall through, 
just take your stock hardware, put it in there in a little hammer. And I'm just using the other end of the socket piece. And just barely tapping it out. So you're still gonna reuse these. These are the rollers. And you get your kit out. Don't get confused with all your stock parts. You might as well just chunk them in the trash. You won't need them ever again. Because we're trying to go faster. Yeah, we're not trying to go slower. It's pretty simple. Just take one of your rollers. Don't drop them. Put your bushing inside. Just line it up. Put the bolt in. And that's it. You don't have to have any more tension. It doesn't matter which way you put the bolts, but for looks, try to do it in the same direction. And that's it. You won't need any more tension, it's all holding itself in place. You just get your nuts, and these nuts will come in red, blue, or black, depending on which color you pick. This is the only thing you gotta be a little bit careful with. Just go real slow. Once the nut touches the arm, stop. It'll be all the way through the nylon, it's not ever gonna come loose, but you don't want it to be tight. Because you want the rollers to roll. <laughs> you want the rollers to roll, yep. Yeah. You want everything to move free, but you don't want that nut to come off. Yeah. And with it, it's all the way through the nylon, it won't come loose. And like I said, you can do this by hand. You don't have to use the impact. Nice. And we're done. With the drum on it, you'll be able to see the tuner kit through there. So that's where the colors come in. Make sure when you line up your drum, guys, there's two flats and there's two flats. You gotta line it up or you're gonna tear it up. Do this part by hand. We're done. Man, this thing rips. What all did you do to it? I installed the new Stage 1 Juggernaut kit. It's our new lightweight hardware kit so we can take our stall from 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs for better performance. Let's do it. All right, guys, that was the Stage 1 Juggernaut Tuner Kit. Very simple, basic hand tools, and it's going to really wake up your Juggernaut. See you next time for... Yeah, I'm on my way. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she can be like, have an inquiry. <laughs> <laughs>